Hello everyone, this is Vincent Chan from Poker.net and today we'll be taking a closer look at the Huawei MatePad Pro, specifically the desktop mode. Let's go! So let's start off by saying that EMUI desktop mode isn't exactly a new feature, it debuted back with EMUI 8 on the Huawei Mate 10 series back in 2017. But while EMUI desktop on the smartphone has a clear advantage over its main competition in that time, whereby it didn't require a specific dock to work, and all you needed was a screen or monitor for you to connect the device to use it. However, today, on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro, it just exists as a separate mode on the tablet itself, which is definitely a good idea as it helped you take better advantage of the much larger display on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro. Whereas if a smartphone tried to pull it off on its own display, it would probably be too cramped for you to do any work on. Part of the appeal of the EMUI desktop feature is the more PC-like experience when using it. You get stuff like shortcuts on the home screen and also a launch menu down in the lower corner. But when you bring up the launch menu, the experience is quite different from what you're used to in Windows. Instead of scrolling up and down, you scroll sideways to go through the list of apps, which kinds of reminds me of Metro UI but the good thing here is that it doesn't take up the entire screen. And part of what makes the Huawei Mate Pad Pro stand out from the regular Windows laptop is the customization that Huawei can apply to improve the user experience of the tablet. For example, there are shortcuts from the taskbar to instantly get to the drawing app to take notes or just doodle around, as well as a quick way to access your notification sheet. But instead of it dropping down from the top like you would on a regular smartphone, it now comes in from the side to suit its PC-like ambitions better. Quick settings are also a part of the notification pop-up, so you can quickly pair your Bluetooth earphones or change your Wi-Fi access point from there. And last but not least, there are the regular Android navigation buttons. The first impression I had when I tried using the Huawei Mate Pad Pro as a laptop was that it seemed like a balance between Chrome OS and Windows. One thing that immediately caught my attention was how much better multitasking was in EMUI desktop mode compared to regular Android UI, simply because you can open multiple apps complete with Windows snapping for some split screen action. You can also use regular Android apps here, with certain Huawei's built-in apps offering some optimization to better take advantage of the green space. And I did try to work in Microsoft Word for a little bit, and I do find the keyboard to be just a tad too limited, as while Huawei did seem to try to make the keyboard a bit more tactile, the key travel is still quite short, and the keyboard is a touch too far forward for ergonomic typing experience, or at least one that we are accustomed to with laptops. But while considering that this is still at its core just a keyboard cover, I guess this is as good as it gets. Now another part of the PC experience is of course a mouse and I didn't have a Bluetooth mouse so I used the M pencil extensively as my pointer and I must say the experience was pretty decent. In addition to Word, I also tried Microsoft Teams here and I must give it to Microsoft for making the mobile app so similar to the desktop version that I felt like I was using a laptop instead. Another thing to note is that I didn't feel as much of a need for the missing GMS when working on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro in EMUI desktop mode. Checking emails was pretty straightforward as the built-in app pulls emails from Gmail without any issue. And I also found that instead of relying on apps, I used the browser more, as I would on a laptop. And while I was worried that I could not enjoy some lo-fi while working, navigating to YouTube via the browser works perfectly. And with the quad speakers along the side of the Huawei Mate Pad Pro, I had an excellent experience at that too. Overall, in my experience on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro's EMUI desktop mode, I did feel like it performs almost like a PC. Huawei definitely took some of the experience in making laptops and brought it to the tablet form factor too. While it's not running the same OS, features like Huawei Share and other stuff that sets Huawei laptops apart from the other laptops in the market are also present here. The Huawei Mate Pad Pro definitely serves as an alternative to a laptop if you want to travel like, after all, it just weighs 460 grams, nearly half the lightest laptop we know of. The reliance on GMS in EMUI desktop mode is also lessened which might make the Huawei Mate Pad Pro the game changer that Huawei needs, at least in the Android tablet space. And that's it for our overview of the Huawei Mate Pad Pro's EMUI desktop mode. Let us know what you think of the EMUI desktop and whether you have used it on your Huawei devices before this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page. Until the next video, goodbye.